Thank you. I actually made a decision that I'm going to be selling everything I have. Are you serious? Put your hands up in the air. Don't move. Don't move. You heard what I said, right? Don't move. Back it up. Back it up. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. So today we're starting out by showing you something pretty crazy. No, this is not a gun. This is a bubble gun. The way this works is show them. Alright guys. Yo guys, if this actually worked, this is gonna be the craziest purchase of my entire life. Bro, if I was a kid and I had this in school, I'd be getting all the girls. No, that's not how it works. Bro, imagine seven-year-old Mo with this. Oh Mo, you're so cool! Bro, bro, imagine. <laughs> sure. Oh! This is so freaking cool! Three, two, one, check it out! Boom! Woo! Oh my party. god! It actually freaking works! I wanna have a bubble party! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! It's a freaking bubble party! party. <laughs> <laughs> oh bro, this is the best thing ever! Bro, this is so cool. We're enjoying. <laughs> it's really fun. All right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. Subscribe, like, and we have a lot to do today. Yeah. All right, guys. So to continue the video today, I'm actually gonna be pranking my sister Lana. I actually went and ordered an electric dog collar, which shocks you, and I'm gonna be pretending it's something else. I just don't know what. So, guys, this bad boy right here. You put it on your neck, or a dog's neck, and it can shock them if they're behaving bad. So, by the way guys, I do not recommend this for dogs. Guys, this is gonna be so freaking funny. So I'm gonna quickly set it up, and we're gonna prank my sister. Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh my god! Oh! Fuck! That's so dangerous. Oh my god! This is absolutely crazy. No, you cannot do this to Lana, you know? This is, not this is so funny. Alright guys, we're gonna prank my sister right now and let's see how this goes. Hi right, guys, so the next gadget I have today is really really cool. This is actually a glass projector. So basically, what's about to happen right now is this is going to project onto the glasses, okay? Gonna fall. Go inside, go inside. Bro, that's dangerous. Are you serious? This is used for a dog? Bro, it's so bad. I'm so sorry, this is animal abuse. <laughs> this is Lana abuse. No, but this is so bad. Like, what type of, why would they use that on a dog? I think they feel it way less. Yeah, so we got our friend Jossam over here. He's gonna try, put it? put it on his hand. Feel it? No. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try it on the guy fixing the toilet. Say there's something wrong with this necklace. Uh, <laughs> try it. It's, it's, I think, broken toy. Put it on your it's, hand, uh, on your watch. It's like a watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, no? Uh, <laughs> Don't scare the guy, bro. He's trying to be working in peace. Alright, guys, so to continue off the rest of the video, guys, I have a few big, big announcements to make. So. Where do I begin? <laughs> I don't even know. So guys, um, I can't say too much on today's video, but there's some big, 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 big things I'm working on right now that need money. Um, I also really wanna just have a fresh start in my life. Um, I know for the past month I kept talking about I'm not okay, I'm not happy, and just uh, everything like that, but I've made a few big decisions. A few of them need some money. A lot of money <laughs> to, to happen. So today, I actually made a decision that I'm going to be selling everything I have. Everything. And when I say everything, guys, I mean I'm going to be selling all my cars. Every single one. So if you're watching this video and you live in Dubai, you want to buy my cars, look out for them. They're on the market. But right now, someone's coming to the house to give me a valuation so we can see how much they're worth. 
Hi, come in, come in, come in, come in. Hi guys, so I got my guy Michael coming in. He's gonna evaluate the cars, kind of give me a base price so I know how much they're worth, and then we'll go from there. So, all right, coming in. So the first car we're gonna get Mike to inspect is the SLS. This is a beautiful car. So cute. <laughs> yeah, Michael, what do you think about this car? It's one of the collectible cars here in UAE, and uh, very nice car, sir. Uh, we'll go to inspect now and uh, let's see what price comes up. All right, let's do this How, How's the paint looking still okay? <laughs> it's like a diamond checker, bro. This has the paint protection definitely oh. Oh. I knew it remember you told me so guys when I bought this the the old owner actually put a paint protection film to protect the paint So if they put heat on it, it completely goes back to new. All right, we're gonna quickly open up the engine and check it out. Oh, oh my god, hot. it's hot. <laughs> oh my god, that's hot, that's hot. So as I said, right now we're gonna quickly do all the checks on the cars. We're checking the oil. I I'm really scared of that by the way. I don't I know. even know. It looks good. It is cool. Wow. Is that a good thing? That's a good thing. It's a very good thing. It's a very good thing, guys. My car is in pretty good shape. Come on, Bentley, you got this. All these cars are for sale, guys, so I'm gonna leave a way to contact me down below to buy them, but we're gonna get a quick valuation right now for all of them and I'll tell you guys roughly how much money we're talking about. So the last car Michael's gonna check out is the Mercedes van. Now this is not an ordinary car. Wow. What do you think? This is great. This is great. <laughs> this is fully a customized. Yes. Uh, Maybe around. This is way too much for an ordinary van. So the price might come up. So let's see. All right, guys. So as I said, this is a custom van. Very nice. All right. So the inspection is finally done, and Michael is gonna give us some prices. It is SLS, four hundred and forty thousand dirhams. Ooh. Okay. All right. That's yeah. honestly not bad, guys. Not yeah. bad. I'm happy with that. For the Bentley Bentayga, we got a price of four hundred and seventy thousand dirhams. For the Mercedes van, we got an estimation price of two hundred and twenty thousand dirhams. What do you say? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the evaluations, but as I said, guys, I'm going to be listing these all up for sale. So that's how much they're roughly worth. And we'll just go from there. All right. All right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all right, guys. So there you go. The valuation is done, guys. The SLS valued at 440,000 dirhams. Guys, with these type of cars, they are collectible cars. So sometimes... You can get more for them or less. It just depends on the buyer, guys. The Bentayga, 470,000, I think he said. And then the van, a rough 200,000, guys. So all in all, guys, we're talking just over a million dirhams, which is around $300,000, guys. Now that you saw the cars that I'm selling, a lot of you are probably watching this video saying, Yo, what is happening? Why are you selling your cars, guys? So, as I said, uh, this month I'm going to be doing a lot of changes and some of them need some financial support. I will be announcing what's happening in the next few days, so I don't want you guys to wait too long. But I also want to answer a few questions that... You guys always have about my cars. I just want to give you honest answers. So, a lot of times people ask me, are my cars rented? Do I borrow cars? Do I pretend I own cars? Or just, just, just those type of questions, guys. So I'm gonna take you through a breakdown of all the cars I have in my The Mercedes-Benz SLS that I have, I actually bought it last year during Corona. So when I sold my Ferrari, I used that cash to buy the SLS. Now, if I'm being honest, I bought it at a cheaper price than I'll be selling it now just because at the time, the market prices were very low for cars, so the car has appreciated, so I will be making some money on the SLS. Secondly, the van. I also bought the van last year during Corona when all the prices were super low for cars. I got a really amazing deal on the van. So the van, I will also probably be making a little bit of money on that, guys. As I said, I just got incredible deals on the cars, so that is why I did end up buying those cars for cash, guys, because 
it just made sense. I am not against renting cars. I have rented cars for music videos. I do rent cars if I want to make a vlog about a specific cars. Or sometimes I just borrow them and I and I mention that I borrowed them from a friend's showrooms. That's the situation with the cars, guys. I am going to be selling all the cars that I mentioned today, so I will explain it very soon. All right. I just need the money for a project, which I'll be announcing probably this week. And yeah. He closed it around my neck. <laughs> I thought it was a projector. <laughs> <laughs>